Right, welcome back to AJP Guardian Machines. And in this episode, we're going to be having a look at this Mountfield HP414. And it's blowing a hooli again for the third Saturday going. And I almost got locked in my garage, so what I've had to use is this generator and hook it up here to stop the door from coming down. Well, I'm trying to get these videos pumped out, and the weather's not agreeing with it. Uh, let's get this done, because it's like a 20 minute walk to where I do these as well. So that's another problem. So I'm gonna probably end up getting soap going on because it looks like it's gonna rain. But let's get into a video. Yeah, SV150 you can see on that tag there. So it is the exact same motor as that one, just without the primer. So it's a plastic deck one. I've got the grass box for it. Bit rusty up there, but not a problem. And there, as you expect, cables are intact either side. Um, so for first look, that's looking a bit rusty in there, as you can see, a bit rusty and like grass and stuff in there. Um, some sort of fluid of some sort. That could be rain now because I have had a leak as well in my garage, which ain't good. If you're going to focus, please. Yeah, so what I'm going to be doing as well, I've done it with my other garage, is silicon these gaps. So off topic again, I'm getting off topic today. So, yeah, we're going to get in. It's got compression. I've already tested that. I haven't checked spark yet. Or checked compression, but I don't think it's gonna. It's gonna need a carb clean because inside the tank it stinks. So I might as well just get the carb clean done straight away. Not even trying to start it. So I have given it a few pulls, as you know, as like because I said it's got compression. Hmm. Alright, so I've given it a few pulls. It's got compression, but it won't start. So what we'll do is crack on, put you on tripod, get all of this took off again. Should be fresh in the memory considering I've just done that carb again, cleaned it out because I forgot to take the emulsion tube out. So yeah, that. So let's get into it. So we'll do the exact same as we did on the last video. Take off the air filter cover. Bit manky in there. Bit manky. Air filter. Really dirty. That'll need replacing. In this video. Because I need to order all the parts in what I need. So I'm going to be ordering them tonight. I haven't, I don't hold spares like air filters and stuff I need to though because of how many I've got in at the moment so and a lot of them have the same air filter I've got these three 10 mil meat up bolts if you want to stop Hopefully when I do this car play, it's going to be done right this time. So I'm going to put that in there. I'll part straight. So how's everyone been? Have you been alright? I haven't been on lives recently because... I just sit there and don't talk. <laughs> That's the main issue. I'm going to try and get do another live stream now because it did do well. We had some brilliant people up and everything. It's just my nerves and everything. I don't mind talking when it's just a, just on my own, but I'll, I'll get there, I'll get there, all right. Um, just pop that off, ooh, this is, a, this is a really nice so Them, as you can see, I'm a bit crusty, so I need a good clean. Yeah, I need a good clean, a bit crusty. And the whole car is, how is it? fuel pipes are hard as well so this one we might have to do a bit more work to and there's like I don't know what's happened here the coating of something all over it so hopefully that's focused please right what we'll do is get some of this off right, let's get the off Let's get some of them medical forceps like Mick Scott for the clamping the pipes and stuff. They seem to work pretty good. Yeah, 
There's carbs in there, right? So is that. And what I'm going to do is pre clean the outside of this card before I. Right? Yeah. Before I actually take it apart, like, take it apart and fill it with carb cleaner. The water got really dirty last time. Come on, these clips are ridiculous. Come on. This pipe I might have to replace because it's blooming quite hard. What I'm going to do, just to make it a bit easier, take these off. So I will. I'm not going to do it without taking the fuel pipe off. Come on. Don't be a pain. So what I'm going to do is cut the video here. We're back once we've got this pipe off. So I'm going to put that on there. Right, so here's a problem straight away. This is solid. Won't move whatsoever. Front one moves, back one solid. What will do is get some cleaner and just clean it off a bit. Get the outside clean. We'll empty out the tray where you nearly slip then. That's because of the water. So just clean it up. Because it's the right state. This is. Got this bristle brush. Just get in there. Hey. That's solid. I don't know what's wrong with this. I'm just putting all this down. A little pre clean beforehand. I work nothing. Wing man, it's getting worse. can see that's a lot better. You now just need tools. You now just need electrical tools to do this. Carb cleaners, <laughs> ultrasonic cleaners. Makes life easier. Well, the old fashioned way does it just as good. Well, not as good, but you know. That's all I can do at the moment, so you know. I've got no choice in it. So. A bit gunky on the outside. Not too bad. Seen worse. So, I don't know. Clean all this off and we'll have a look. So, let's have a look what we're up against here. Just give it a quick wipe down just to dry it off a bit so we can see what we're up against. So, it's come up pretty clean for the state it was in, as you can see. Pretty darn clean. It's just a hand cleaning. So, I'm not sure why this isn't working. Um, this is probably going to tell us the condition of the inside. So what I'll do, crack off this bottom bell belt. Not that wore as hard as the other one. That Challenger Extreme was a pain. So, knock off this belt. There's a rubber washer. I'd have to buy a rebuild kit for this one. That washer seems like it could leak. Could leak. And, uh, put the washer there. The bolt in there. Oh god, here we go. The bowl don't want to come off. So, getting the bowl off. Let me just try a few light taps with the end of the pliers. There we go, that's it. Okay, so, a bit of rust in the bottom, as you can see. 
Oh, there's a pin. Pull that pin out. Pull the flout out. Jets out. A little flout jet thing. Don't know what they're proper names. Well, I was watching a video. Um, machinery restorer. It's got a proper Briggs and Stratton one for taking out the main jet screwdriver. So it's a do a job, but apparently someone commented on there. You can just grind the tip on, you can change your tip. So I'm going to try doing one of them when I've got a grinder and everything. Should be handy. So I'll just whack out this jet and make sure you take the emulsion tube out. Like I didn't on the last video. Um, Retro Restores let me know about it. It was silly, silly mistake, but you know, I'm new at all this, so. I'm still learning. Everyone's still learning. You never stop learning. So, emulsion tube, are you going to come out? That's the question. I need to stop doing this because this camera mount keeps knocking my phone off, keeps turning it off. So, yeah. What I was saying before I uh, cut it off by mistake. Um, the emulsion tube. How the hell do you get them at? Well, best option I've come up with is just go. A couple of smacks. And then there it is. So I did do that before, of course. Yeah, but there it is. There's your emulsion tube. That is what I missed on the last video. To take out of the... Challenger Extreme. Oh yeah, definitely not forgetting that this time. So, never carbs clean. What I'm gonna do is just, you see all this gunk here? I'm gonna clean it all up and Give it a bit of a greasing with some WD-40 and that's why I use it as my cleaning agent as well. So I'll put you on time lapse again. As you can see, it's running, but it is hunting up and down a bit. But my, I think that is because of the. Hopefully, you can see the throttle. It's knackered. See, I've tried cable tying it on just to see and get it working. Because when I was holding it, it was working perfectly fine. When I was holding it down there, so. I'll have to see in my stash here if I've got another one of these. I should have. I should have one of these knocking about. And then that should be ready. Right, so that's uh, MTD. Oh, MTD. I'm thinking I'm doing there. So that's the Mount Field HP414. And it, does it say a date of manufacturing? Uh, 2011. So, for more videos like this, please like, share, subscribe, hit the bell, and all the good things. See you in a bit. Right, thanks for watching. Uh, I did want to finish this um, video, like I wanted to put the new um, cable on, and the uh, throttle. But, as you know, with what's going on right now, 
So I can't do that. So I've released it as it is. I'll have another little video sometime in the future whenever I'm allowed back out. Because I'm asthmatic, I'm Irish, so I can't really go to my garage and do do anything there. Uh, so yeah. So please like, share, and subscribe. I think we're at nearly I think we're 179 subscribers as of today. So we're very shortly at 180. So thanks everyone for liking, sharing, watching the videos. Catch you later. Thanks.